Side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle. Now he's in your path of travel. Slow it down, slow it down. Good job. We're on a scooter, but you know what? Did a good job. Slow, slow it down. We're. Wait, wait. I don't. How fast? I gotta. I gotta see how fast he's going. All right. It looks like it's sped up. We're going faster than normal traffic. Slow it down. Switch lanes. Okay. That happens. That is a typical, not the punching of the mirrors. This right here is a typical ride. You're in the right lane. Somebody else wants to turn in front of you. You switch lanes. End of story. Done. This is a non-issue. You see that right there. The thing is, and this is the problem I freaking have with people. I see so many motorcyclists dying from this. And then I see so many people getting agitated. And then I see so many people going online, posting these things. And they're like, this is the norm. You should get mad at this. No, you should not. Because if you're in a car, what you would be doing is slowing down. And then you'd possibly go into that another lane. Treat riding like that and go in the other lane. Don't assume that you could just lane split and then be safe and then you're pissed that they're close to you the reason why we don't like this person is because this person is going slower than we like so what we're doing here is we want to get in front and we don't want to be around other people so we have this agitation it might come from the fact that you have terrible braking skills terrible swerving skills terrible everything and all you can do is accelerate and that's it so if anybody pulls out in front of you you're going to be pissed because you don't know how to stop that, that might be the problem Okay, overconfidence in your straight line skills and underconfidence and no confidence in your braking. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. But for me, when I have confidence in my braking, my swerving, I can see things, my situation awareness, none of this stuff bothers me. The fact that this person's coming out should indicate, hey, I can't be in this lane anymore at this speed. Since I can't be in this lane anymore at this speed, I need to get in this lane. Okay. That is what he's thinking. But he's also thinking, I need to get in this lane, but I don't want to be behind this vehicle because I'm impatient. So I'm going to speed up and go in front of this vehicle and dodge this vehicle and get pissed off at this vehicle. I'm going to get pissed off at this vehicle. I'm pissed off. It's frustrating because the thing is, you just slow down and get behind this vehicle. Once you pass this little intersection where this car is, because it's going to be going slow, it's a van and you're passing them at speed. Just get back into your lane. It's as simple as that. Switch over, switch back. But instead, we're gonna do this. Get yourself good line of sight. Whoa! That's an uncommon thing. What the heck? Didn't tie it down. All right, going a little too fast for the area. What do you think, Ego? What do you think, Ego? No, 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 no. Oh, sh! Oh, sh! Oh, a little bit of hey, ego. I just almost ate. Shit. I know. I saw that. No, no, twice behind you again on that corner right there. I came in way too hot and I didn't know it was curving that hard. And I was going like 80 on that turn right there. That I would consider that an after action review. So what do you do with that information? I don't even think I have to describe that. He just said what he said. He went too hot into the corner. He was going 80, trying to keep up with him, went too wide. He did his own after action review. What are you gonna do with that information? If I was the writer and, and my friends and this guy, it's like, hey, you went too wide. Maybe we should take it a little bit easier because the last thing I want is for my friend to crash, especially if he's trying to keep up with me. So what I would be doing is, hey, close call, let's take it down a notch. Instead of, hey, close call, that was a lot of fun. Let's try it again, but not have close calls. It's like, no, you're obviously not prepped and ready for that street. You're obviously not prepped and ready for any of that. So how about you just, Take it down. Your skill level is not there yet. Okay. Also, on top of that, don't ride to somebody else's ride. Ride your own. So if that turn was hard for you, but not hard for this guy, slow it down for yourself. Catch up to him. Do whatever you need to do later. Communicate on Bluetooth system. Hey, you're taking off past me. That's why we have the Cardo Pack Talks down here with the crew. Click that link in the chat. It's going to give you a discount when you do check out. Thank you for Cardo for sponsoring this channel. Too hot, and I didn't know it was curved. Hey, I just almost ate. I saw that. No, no, twice behind you again on that corner right there. I came in way too hot and I didn't know it was curving that hard. I was going like 80 on that turn right there. Deer. Yep. Good job slowing down and braking. Good job. Poor little Bambi. Good job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs>
Whoa, uncommon thing. Good job breaking the uh, rev bomb. I think that might have been accidental. What's that? I think he might have just squeezed everything. He did a good job right there. What's that? Prevented his accident. That's all I care about. Who's that? I don't know. Is a left turn only there? Uh, but mate, fing course man. Course, alright mate. Right. Alright, we're cro uh crossing. We're oh 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 did not expect that. You don't see a lot of that. You don't see a lot of those issues with too much rear tire spin. You usually see it with a new rider. So we're going to be going here and we're going to be turning left. And it's very hard to see the, the bit rate, all that fancy schmancy stuff. It's hard to see, but it looks like the road is pretty damaged, pretty gross. A lot of gravel possibly. And there could have been ice. Exactly, Vasu. There could have been a lot of ice. So in the middle of a turn like that, don't accelerate right at the apex. Okay, right when you're in the, the sharpest point of the turn. Okay, you only accelerate when your nose is pointed where you want it to go okay his nose is pointed. you can see where his nose is pointed pointed right here okay you want your nose pointed towards the exit you need to slow down before the turn you need to look where you're going you need to press to initiate counter steering and then when your nose is pointed where you need it to go then you roll on the throttle but you can hear it he accelerates through the turn He accelerated through the turn. Look at the road. It's terrible. Don't accelerate through the turn, especially from a stop. You need to accelerate it when your nose is out and then do it smoothly. Smooth, progressive brake pressure. Smooth, throttle control. Smooth, shifting. You see that? Smooth movements. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Wear gear just in case this happens. Time and place, baby. Time and place. Okay, damage to your bike, damage to the house, damage to your face, damage to your hips, damage to your hands. When we talk about wheelies, we talk about stunting, we talk about anything, parking lot practice, make sure you do it in an area that's safe for you to do so. Slow speed maneuver practice is pretty dang safe, but it's not safe if I do it on the interstate. So time and place also with what you're doing. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> yeah way to start your day huh we've already talked about this one this guy's pulling out he gets really pissed it's about that rev bomb thing it's ridiculous the only thing that saved him was slowing down before getting close you need to look before you just back out of your driveway i was going 20 then you should be able to stop in time. You should be able to stop in time if you're going 20. It should be a non-issue.